Hello, I'm Natalie Glasson from the Sacred School of Omna. This week's channeled message is from Master El More, and it's entitled Living in the Light and the Darkness. Greetings, greetings, greetings. I am Master El More. I'm the overseer of the first ray of light, which emanates such powerful vibrations and qualities of the Creator. Determination, courage, action. The divine plan. There is so much that can be gained from the first ray of light, this expression of the qualities of the Creator. I come forth to you today to recognize two energies, both within your being and around you. I wish to support you in gaining a deeper acceptance of these two energies in order to propel you forward in your spiritual evolution, as well as making it easier for you to exist in the current times on the earth. These two energies I speak of are light and darkness. I first wish to clarify when I say light, I mean the vibrations, the frequency of the Creator, as delivered from the Creator throughout the entire universe of the Creator and throughout all beings. When I say darkness, I am not speaking necessarily of negative energies, nor what you might label as entities or ghosts or anything in that manner. When I speak of darkness, I mean the opposite of the light. I mean limitations, boundaries, blockages, where the Creator's vibration does not flow I'm speaking of restrictions within your being and your reality. Yes, maybe negative thoughts and negative emotions. In truth, when I speak of the darkness, I am speaking of anything that creates separation between yourself and the Creator. And mostly I speak of these energies and frequencies as being within your being and also being created by you. Now it often is that when souls or beings speak of darkness, darkness is often seen as the enemy something that maybe is out of control, something that is out of your control, beyond your responsibility. When I speak of darkness, I am speaking of energies that you and others have created or co-created. Is it possible to acknowledge that you can create the darkness in your life? You can create the limitations, the blockages, the boundaries, the negative experiences. All because of wounds, of belief in separation of the Creator and not acknowledging your truth and your essence fully. 
Now, this is something that can be interesting and both challenging to acknowledge. Firstly, you create the light that you are and in your reality. You also create the darkness that is present within you and within your reality. And both these energies stem from the Creator through you. This energy as extended from the Creator is the same. It is one energy. You might say to make it easier that the, the energy extending from the Creator is golden. And you receive this golden energy. Then you choose, both consciously and subconsciously, what to create. To create light. Maybe light is pink. To create darkness. Maybe darkness is grey. And you may acknowledge that you've used the same energy, that golden energy, to create both pink and grey, light and darkness. Now this means that everything stems from the Creator. However, not everything is the divine will nor the divine plan of the Creator. As there are so many beings on the earth who have free will. And they use the energy like a fuel, the energy of the Creator, to manifest and create and experience what they wish upon the earth. So this is a great responsibility. And when you acknowledge this, it allows you to truly take responsibility for your reality, for your ascension process and for your actions and reactions. Realizing you simply receive the energy of the Creator and then it is up to you what you create with this energy. Now you may say that you do not wish to create darkness, only light. However, there are misguided habits, misunderstandings, wounds, illusions that all create what you might label as the darkness. Now each experience, each energy, each creation of the darkness was born with the light of the Creator through your being and through others as well. Does this mean that these energies need to be discarded or ignored? In actual fact, it means that they require more of your attention, more of your acceptance and exploration. When you accept the darkness within, it soon transforms into the light, or you might say back into the fuel of the Creator. Because in some ways it has been masquerading as something else, in order to alert you to the way that you operate. 
mentally, emotionally, physically, even spiritually. It is alerting you to understand the way you operate and also your focus and your relationship with yourself and the Creator. Now often souls wish to focus only upon the light. Choosing to ignore the darkness. This can actually create even more of a sense of illusion. Because you are ignoring and not fully accepting yourself. It creates an imbalance within your being. While it is joyous to remain in the light, to accept the light, to experience the flow of the Creator's light through you, and to create from this. One can never truly ignore the darkness, the limitations, the boundaries, the blockages and so forth. These always, you might say, lower your vibration. But in actual fact they Hinder your view of the light. When you focus solely upon the light, you also become ungrounded, unbalanced. Even losing grip on reality. Because you are designed to live in two realities, the physical and the energetic, even the light and the darkness. Accepting both simultaneously, but of course working through the darkness, recognizing how the darkness teaches and guides you forth. And how the light represents all that you are and inspires you to expand your awareness and accept all that you are. And remember that you are a limitless being. You are the infinite nature and essence of the Creator. There is so much to explore within the light. So as you connect with the light, it expands your awareness and allows you to connect with this natural essence of your being. So both the light and the darkness have specific roles within your reality. Now, when you then look to the reality of the earth, it is important to bring forth to the reality of the earth a similar understanding. Is there actually darkness within the reality of the earth? Or is it simply creations from separation, illusion, misunderstanding? 
wounds that simply need to be healed and recognized. As a being, as a light being, are you fearful of the darkness? Are you willing to bring your light to the darkness? To accept the darkness, therefore holding space for the darkness to heal. Whether it was your creation or another, another's creation. That is what is being asked of you, both within your being and your reality on the earth. To hold space for the light and the darkness to integrate. For healing to take place or for energies to be resolved within the darkness and for the light to bring inspiration and expansion, the energy of infinity in order to move beyond boundaries and blockages and recognize what is possible. When you are balanced, when you are willing to accept the darkness and the light within you and upon the earth, you are holding space for both to unite, to resolve, to synthesize, and for a greater outcome and possibility to manifest. And this is what is required now. To send light to the darkness is somewhat like ignoring the darkness. To be fearful of the darkness is like ignoring the light. Both require to be accepted, acknowledged, to hold space for both to be experienced, for your being to process what is needed, both for the earth and for yourself. And we are speaking not of embodiment, but recognition. Recognizing what's taking place, being inspired, being guided as to what is necessary now. I must tell more I am present to be of service. Please call upon my name whenever you wish to. My love is with you always. I am Master El More. Thank you so much for being present with me today and Master El More. I hope you enjoyed the channeling and I hope you found it inspiring. Until we connect next week, thank you and bye.